Hi, Happy New Year! Friends, we have made it and so we thank God for that. It's not easy to just say that, you know, you've just made it in the new year. You know, for me, I lost a friend last year in December, so it was very, very heartbreaking and it brought me back to realizing and, you know, not taking life for granted, you know, just thanking God for life. It was like a wake up call. And I hope it's the same thing with you. This is 2024. We choose to let go of things of last year and look forward to 2024. And for me, I believe in even years. I want to believe <laughs> that 2024 is going to be a good year and it's already looking up. You know, though, though I became weak after Christmas and we got sick, me and the children and even their dad, but we thank God that we have come up and we know we are glorifying God and we are healed. And so, guys, let us come, chill here, sit here with me. Let us discuss some of the things that I want us to discuss. And of course, I won't forget to keep reminding you guys to subscribe. You know, we need more followers. It's a new year. It's a new year. Let us bring a bigger audience, new friends. Come with a friend. Come and subscribe share like comment let these conversations be very much uh, interactive so that i won't be talking alone we got that yeah What is Jose going to talk about this time? This is the first episode of 2024. So I'll be talking about the things that we need to start with to make our year perfect. I want to believe that if you really do these things that I want to tell you, you will have a perfect year. They're just going to be five. Is it very hard to make five of them? No, it's not very hard. So, and um, you know, you have to make sure that the things, you know, you, you, you have set your mind to wanting a change. Because you can't keep doing things of last year and expect a different change. You can't keep repeating the things that didn't work out and expect a different change. So this time you have to set your mind to do something differently to expect a different change. And this thing might actually be a very small thing. Something very small. Like for a husband, you might actually start giving your wife some money just leave some money to her and you see your marriage changing something different can change a very big thing that you you don't need to work out a lot right and of course also the input you put in the much energy you put in in doing that thing that you want to achieve will determine the output you can't put in very little and expect a, a large harvest are we all together? So let's get back to these five things that I want us to try and do in 2024 and see a difference. Let's do them together. Yeah, so number one thing I want us to do is to have spiritual capital. Concentrate on your spiritual capital. What is spiritual capital? Have time with your God. For Christians, I don't have to say it again. Please let us read the word. Let us get to know the word and confess it. Let us read the Bible. Wake up. Have some time to wake up very early and read the word and pray. Spend time to knowing your God so that you, you deafen those other voices. Get to know the voice of your creator and your Lord because he's the one going to direct you in this year. You know, we can only make plans, but the Lord is the one that makes them perfect. And if you don't have a relationship with him, please, how is it going to be? If you've not been going to church, try and keep going to church. Try fellowshipping. Try to have this spiritual capital with your God and spend time with him and get to know him. The second one is relational capital. There's this thing that says the five friends around you will determine who you are. Whom do you want to spend time with? 
Which kind of relationship do you want to create? Which kind of friends do you want to have? Which people do you want to surround yourself with? You know, like family. Do you want to spend time with your family? If you're the type that has not been, you know, so much at home, what are you planning to do about this? To spend time with your wife, to spend time with your children, to spend time maybe with your friends. Pick one or two friends and concentrate on them. Do things that you are not doing. If you are not a gift giver, you start giving gifts. If you're not giving them time, you're always on WhatsApp talking to other people, not them. Please put down the phone and see how you're going to invest in this relational capital. Together? Cool. Okay, so the third point is physical capital. What do I mean the physical capital? How do you want to look like this year? How healthy do you want to be? You know, if you have gone above 30 and above, you really need to start thinking about how you want to see your health. What you're eating. Do you really drink water? Very many people don't like drinking water. Do you like exercising? Try and do it. Like, for example, for me, I've really tried. Because I notice I'm not this type who is always wanting to go like to the gym in public places. So what I've done is look for YouTube videos that are you know for beginners and i'm starting to do it in my house and i'm starting to see it work it might not be easy but you have to remember you have to make a change if you want to see a change rest enough these things of sleeping at two at midnight you must have at least eight hours for you to be normal for you to, to for your body to work very well have that physical capital done very well and don't be on whatsapp at 2 a.m watching netflix all the movies all the things please check out even the things you're putting in your mind leave alone the body alone even in your mind yeah number four is intellectual capital or intellectual growth guys we can't be there you can't be the type who is always asking what is happening in your country you don't know what's happening in the world or someone is mentioning some technology thing that has happened and for you you don't know please invest in yourself read a book you buy some books you know there's this say there's someone who surprised me and said the poorest home is the one that has no library the richest is the one that has a library imagine start with a few books buy books and see how you're going to start changing your life as a person and if you have children let them reduce on tv or other things and start reading books start reading books to them books are very important have intellectual capital you can't be the person who is on a whatsapp group and you're asking what does this thing mean when other people know it and you are always being told to google it that you are even lazy to google in this era where we have internet where we have so much information on, you know, on our fingertips, just in front of us being served, please invest in that, you know. Always have internet. Just the way you want to have airtime, have some money and buy bundles so that you have some information. And of course, you need to know that not all books are just free. Some books, you have to buy them. You can't be saying, send me these books. There is copyright out there and also respect the writers and buy books from them you know support them that is how you invest in yourself if you don't you're a christian and you don't have a bible i jail you <laughs> i greet you and friends the last but not least is financial capital oh that one we have to talk about it because without it you're really not going to find it easy to achieve those other four that i've told you it's the one that enables you to make sure that you do those other four so what are you going to do if you already have a job save and invest if you don't have a job find other ways avenues income you know strategize having business think how you're going to get money because this capital will help you thrive and enjoy the world let no one ever lie to you that without money you are okay that you are just going to have things like love only please money fuels those other things to make sure that you enjoy 
all these other capitals that I've told you. It won't be easy. To some people it might be easy. But we have said we can't keep doing things of last year or things that we have always done and expect a different uh, result. We have to do something different. And let's all try together. Even me, the one who's telling you, I am trying to do these things and I want to see how they are going to come out. Of course, we make plans and it's God who makes them perfect or come to be true. Invest in your spiritual capital and you will see all these things work out. And for Christians, about this in financial capital, please try and tithe. Go and tithe. They say tithing breaks the backbone of poverty. And some of you might be laughing saying what? Please give God what belongs to him and he will fill your pantry with things, your house with a lot of things. You know, you can't just be in business with God and you're cheating him when he's asking you only 10%. Let's try and do it. And my church is doing fast fruits. We are also going to try and do it. So I pray that you've understood. And please, let us be very many on this platform. Let us enjoy listening to each other by subscribing, clicking on the notification bell so that every time I put out the video, you will be the first one to see it. And share, like, let us not be the first thing. Like right now, please, after immediately, you share with your friends on WhatsApp or if this information is something you all resonate to, like, comment, let us all be part of this story. So that's all. Let's enjoy the first episode of 2024. I'll be bringing more weekly. God bless you.